Hi there. Instead of talking about cast iron this time, I just felt like saying a couple of things about knives. Now, there are something like 500 to 1,000 videos out there on the internet about every kind of knife imaginable, and I, there's nothing I could say that probably hasn't been said already by, uh, by the professionals. Um, I just felt like uh, putting in a couple of small comments about uh, the knives I use in my kitchen here. Of course, um, as with any collectible, and that certainly includes cast iron, uh, one thing you can say about knives is you can never own just one. And that's why I ended up with a uh, what I hope is a decent sized collection. Um, this is one thing I think I would like to uh, give as a piece of advice, and that is if you're going out uh, looking for knives, again, especially if you're just starting out, don't get one of those fancy blocks of uh, eight or ten or twelve knives. Uh, you will be guaranteed not to use them all. You will end up using maybe two or three of them and the rest of them will sit in your in that knife block unused for uh, who knows how long so that's really not that great of a bargain. <laughs> and instead you should uh, just acquire the knives you have the most use for. Um, and of course that differs from one person to another which is why I ended up uh, with not one, but three identical 10-inch chef's knives. But, uh, but what I really wanted to do today was um, demonstrate how I sharpen my knives, and that's only because I've had to uh, sharpen my knives a little different from the uh, standard method. Um, this is only because I have a very, very slight limitation to movement in my wrist, and it's been like that from birth. It doesn't hurt or anything like that, but uh, because of that, the standard method for uh, sharpening a knife, which is uh, using the uh, flip of the wrist here to, uh, to sharpen a knife with a, with a steel in this manner, I have a lot of difficulty with that, unfortunately. So <laughs> because of that, I found I, found I had to develop a method uh, that uh, goes something like this. I wanted to say that in order to say this. Uh, when sharpening a knife, one trick I've found that really makes it a lot easier to uh, give your knife a good edge is that when you're sharpening, you want to listen for the ring that the, that the blade makes as it, as it moves across the steel. I mean, it makes this lovely ringing sound, and if you, if you uh, adjust the knife at even a little bit of an angle, the uh, ringing sound will not sound correct. You want it so that it sounds identical every time, or nearly every time. And by aiming to have that sound uh, identical with every single stroke of the knife across the steel, uh, you've got a pretty good chance of, uh, of uh, achieving your goal and uh, giving your knife the uh, sharpening that you, that you want it to have. There, for instance, I made one uh, mistaken stroke, and I could actually hear the difference uh, when I made that stroke. So I've got to correct it. Like that. There we go. Also, I'm holding this up higher than uh, because I'm on camera. Normally, I, I hold it down here. <laughs> One other thing is that the different makers of these knives, the, the knives actually have their own signature ring. They all sound different. This, again, is my Sabadio knife. On the other hand, this is the Dexter uh, chef's knife. It has a much duller, much more dull ring to it.
And finally, the K-bar knife. This is another thing I'm really proud of, uh, with the, and that is the way this knife sounds. If this is something I love to be able to show off to our guests with. Listen to this. Finally, the last thing, I have uh, just a, a simple bottle of generic uh, mineral oil for, uh, clean, for um, oiling the knife when it's done because this is really all that's needed, I find. Um, I also have a nice little chamois that is soaked through with oil because I use it so much. I, I picked this up at the Case Museum in Pennsylvania, in fact, and uh, this is a great uh, cleaner uh, polishing cloth for uh, this knife. So it has so much oil in it, in fact, that I don't even have to uh, apply oil um, more than once a week or so. All we have to do is wipe it off, and we're done.